Hey everybody, it's Keith with Bob CNC. This is Shop Talk, and I'm with my <laughs> bestest friend, I guess Bob. I guess we're closer, huh? I'm yes, my we best are. friend, Keith. Yes. You make After me all, all nervous. <laughs> things happen. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I became a nicer guy. Yeah. You better enjoy it while it lasts. It won't last long. <laughs> uh, Maybe it would. No, I don't think so. It could. No, I think hope. I'm going to be healed. Okay. And yeah. I'm just going to be as rotten as ever. Okay. We're going to talk a little bit about safety. Okay. okay. You shouldn't yes. carry stuff while you're walking into buildings. No. I should. I don't even know what happened. I think maybe we should talk about C&C safety. Yeah, we should. And not, you know. Yeah. Generous. You know the biggest thing about C&C C and C safety that... Yeah. I think it's the number one thing that that people want to kind of avoid is because it, it takes so long generally to get a project done. If you're doing a 3D project, yeah, it's hours. It, it seems like months. Well, you know, like like uh, you know, if you watch water boil, yeah, yeah, it takes a long time. And yeah. when you're watching a project <laughs> get done, it takes a long time. Yeah. And so a lot of guys, they'll cheat, and they'll get a baby camera. Oh. Or, yeah, and I'm not knocking it because I've thought about that too. Yeah. Well, the problem is, is it can go wrong really fast. So if your workpiece comes loose and your router bit spinning on that wood, it's going to heat up, you know, one of them little fire starter movies. Yes. That, it's right there for you, and it'll cause a fire. Or, uh, you know, if uh, you break a belt... Uh, yes. You know, it, the the rotor or the spindle still spinning, it, it'll heat up and cause a fire. So yep. it is it is never ever a good idea to leave a C and C unattended. Right. Never ever. Never. I mean, you you can there's house fires I mean, or shop fires or yes. shed fires. We were any kind of fire. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, we we recommend that you never leave it unattended. We don't recommend baby monitors. We recommend that you stay in the shop. Uh, you need to be doing something in the shop nearby. You have to be close enough that you can either unplug it or shut it off so that you don't have something that's going to cause a fire. Yeah, and if you read our manual, you would, you would also you want a fire extinguisher close yes. because sometimes you, you, know, you may not notice it right off. However, you, you will, will notice it eventually. Yeah, you, well, we're, we're trying to view it before eventually, though. Yes. I mean... Uh, if you're listening in the shop while you're, you know, doing something else, you know, sanding on another project or painting, you will hear something that sounds odd. It's not going to be like, huh, I just turned around and there's a big flame. You're gonna, <laughs> yeah, you're going you're gonna to hear it not cutting the way that you normally hear it cutting. But, uh, but for sure, you don't, you do not want to leave it unattended. Right. Uh, you do not want to use frayed extension cords. You don't want to use extension cords at all if you can get away with it. Yes. Right? Uh, you want to make sure that uh, it's kept fairly clean and doesn't have a bunch of dust hanging Correct. all over so that, uh, you know, you have kindling in the Guys, air. Guys, we just want you to be safe. For sure. And um, this was brought to you by Bob CNC. I guess that means we're done? Yeah. All right. Till next time, guys. Thanks a lot.